Come on, boss. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I was gonna say, you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. All the people you could have brought with you. <laughs> she saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Yeah, but it, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> oh, my... Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up. the kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on oh, our on way. On the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram the mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yes, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill! Uh, he's right. But if you refuse, <coughs> you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <coughs> Chloe, don't! Don't try anything stupid. Huh. Nothing over here. You'd better not be stalling. <coughs> Shiva and Parashurama. Don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet! My patience.
Enough. Coward. Need some encouragement? No! Don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet! My patience. Yielding. It's going to fall. Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. Unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? I, I don't understand. It's an idiot. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. <laughs> Not to a selfish prick, no. You <laughs> see, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak. Powerless. Ganesh sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? 
You're going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right? As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha-ha, <laughs> yes! Bias. What do you mean? Still very soft talking about <clears throat> heading to the old rail yard. Something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. It's not much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh, <clears throat> back there. Thanks for professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. These are nice. There. Railroad tracks. Stop here. Sovel we'll have lookouts throughout the area. Best door on the side of caution. Right, right, right. And then we lose the tusk. You're welcome to stay behind. I'm just saying. All right, all right, all right, right. Less talking, more walking. So all that time in Asov's care, and you couldn't get any intel on the bias. Uh, well, I tried. Asov's. Cagey one. Almost never talked.